Hey everybody, one of Weezum here, Friday, October 18th, 2013, 3-ish in the morning, I think. Just unboxed the brand new Tower of Time Adventure Pack. Thought that thing was really cool, the actual Tower of Time itself, incredible detail. Popthorn, who knew his backside was going to be detailed that well? If you missed it, check that video, uh, should be right before this one. That's it, as promised in that one, what we're going to unbox now is... The current battle pack that is out for Skylander Swap Force. That, of course, being what you see there. The Skylander Swap Force Fiery Forge battle pack. This one, pretty interesting concept. Uh, they kind of took uh, life versus earth in this one. Uh, we got a brand new character in Bumble Blast going up against Series 3 Knockout Tariff. And interesting thing here, I know a lot of people, you know... If you had to pick one, most people would go Adventure Pack over Battle Pack. Some people in Giants just refused to buy the Battle Packs. They thought it was a you know, stupid concept or not worth the money. Eventually, you know, you saw like Hot Dog and Shroom, you know, they got their single pack releases. Um, but the idea was it was kind of delayed because, you know, they want people to buy the Battle Pack. You tell me. Uh, this is part of that little Wave 2 early at Toys R Us thing that hit Wednesday. Knockout Tariff in, in single pack form. Um, pretty crazy. you know. But uh, if you're one of those people that doesn't get into the battle packs or for some reason, you can go ahead. You can already pick up Knockout Tariff in, in single pack form. If for some reason Bumble Blast doesn't come in single pack form or triple pack in his regular you know, version, there is a light core bumble blast, so keep that in mind. Personally, while I don't get to do much of the battle mode, primarily because I play by myself, that's why I've always been such an adamant endorser of, hey, we really need a single player versus CPU option in here. Uh, they have done, you know, a couple of new things, you know, where you can actually play some of those things that will unlock solo, you know, just going to again be kind of different arenas and challenges perhaps. That said, I picked this up at Toys R Us. Uh, the price is 20 actually at Target first, and then at Toys R Us, and then I returned the Target one tonight because Toys R Us has a uh, buy one, get one 40% off deal. So I guess actually I got this last night at Toys, getting two nights ago in theory since this is Friday. But you get the idea, you've seen the videos. Uh, if you're going to get this, get it at Toys R Us right now anyway. I guess their price is a little higher, 25 or something. I can't really keep it straight. I think they're a dollar higher. But with the 40% you save, if you're a hardcore person, you're getting this and the Tower of Time Adventure Pack at launch. They cancel each other out with the 40% go that route. If you're going to stockpile for Christmas, keep in mind, instead of buying this now and getting, say, a free Ranger single pack, go ahead, pull the trigger on that Adventure Pack. If you think you're going to wind up buying it later, you'll save money in the long haul. Uh, but yeah, so Target Toys R Us, they both had action on this one from me. But uh, like I said, at Target on launch day, there were tons of the Tower of Time, and it seemed like people were buying the Battle Pack. Again, like I said, I don't know if that's because the people that did shop were big Battle Pack people, and they just mainly liked PvP. If everyone loves Bumble Blast, if there's a lot of people like me that like Terry, I don't know what the logic was. I just saw it and thought, you know, I better grab it in case it's out somewhere. And then, of course, I saw the sale. So, all that aside, you know, $24.99, $25.99, give or take a buck. Uh, like I said, though, if you get it now, 40% is on at Toys R Us, at least through Saturday. But again, what you get is Bumble Blast, brand new Life Element Skylander. You get the Fiery Forge. That's going to be kind of dual purpose. We'll cover that in detail here in a second. And then, of course, my main man, Knockout Terror from here. Uh... Pretty cool. I mean, it's, main, it's highlighting his new wild pal, so that's pretty interesting. We'll kind of get it out and kind of see how well the backside is. Speaking of backsides, let's check this out. Right here, you see you're taking the fiery forge. It goes on the portal. It ruins the portal. It covers it in lava. Uh, but on the bright side, it does unlock that new arena. Uh, right here, this is that box art shot we've all seen. Box art shot we've all seen. That's a tongue twister. Uh, basically, it's the fiery forge. You can see kind of the Lava Lakes Railway vibe in the background. Check it out, though. Knockout Tariff and sporting that brand new Wild Pal. Bumble Blast. Name inclined. Shooting bees. Bumble Blast is someone that actually looked good, you know, 
Nitro Magna Charge, the Sky Diamond, that stuff didn't look near as good as it does in person. Uh, his figure that we saw online ahead of time actually pretty well fits him. Uh, there you see his screenshot there. That, of course, began being Bumble Blast. Then right here, Series 3 Knockout Tariff, and there you go. Pretty menacing guy. Uh, knockout, fitting name given his backstory. Uh, let's again start over here. You'll see why in a second. Uh, tech element characters featured here. Big Bang Trigger Happy, who we can pick up now. Uh, wind up again. Lots of people interested in him. As you saw in the last video, he is going to be available in a adventure pack called uh, Sheepwreck Islands. Heavy duty sprockets. You can pick her up now. Light core countdown. I am excited to see this guy, uh, particularly his light up effect. Currently, you can get countdown. He also has a soccer ball special variant coming up at some point in time. Earth Element, very cool here, my favorite element. Knockout Tariff and Scorp, who shockingly, or I guess like stingingly, if that's a word, uh, picked him up Wednesday night. I can't believe he's out this early, primarily because Slobbertooth, the other new Swap Force Earth Element character, was a launch day figure. Uh, so very cool. I don't know if people are watching the videos and releasing what I'm interested in, but if that's the case, thank you. Uh, <laughs> seriously doubt that's the case, but I mean, that was really cool. Uh, Scorpion Riptide again, too. I was really, really looking forward to. So, uh, Light Core Flashwing, of course, she is out as well. Uh, Slobbertooth, bear in mind, has the uh, alternate figure in the Dark Edition starter pack from GameStop. Check this out, though. Just like on the Tower of Time, we got to see Sheepwreck Islands and all it has to offer. Right here, this is going to be our other battle pack. It's the Archean Crossbow Battle Pack. Here's a shot of the Archean Crossbow. That looks really well done, too. Uh, looking forward to seeing that one in hand. Grim Creeper, though. Check that out. Of course, we can pick him up in Light Core version and his legendary light core version already this will be a standard non light core version and then the beast that is camo is back this is a series two pose for him i know he's been around since ssa however wasn't reposed in giants that's why series two the promotional box art was wrong when it labeled him series three if you've looked at all the other backs he is series two i'm not steering you wrong there uh, Nonetheless, he is back. He is in regular form, which is awesome because he'll get a wild wow pass. Kind of was sad. I'm a huge Warnado person, and uh, as much as I like him being back and think it's cool that he's in light core, he doesn't have the regular version, which means he's not going to have the wild wow pass. So camo people, as if he needed to get any stronger, he's going to be back with a wild wow pass. Really cool looking repos as well. But uh, again, that'll be the Archean Crossbow. We'll definitely be looking forward to that one. Uh, the rate they're going, it could be out Monday. You know, this has all kind of been unexpected. Uh, so is me always losing my knife. We'll go ahead. There it was. Uh, and to come and cut this again on the bottom side, it lists out the contents. So that's one thing that even I don't cover. I do sometimes, actually, I guess. But uh, you know what's inside, so it's good enough for me. Just like the Tower of Time, this cut much easier. Again, it's going to tear it a little bit. It's not going to have the green on the back side. But uh, the single packs, man, this round, they have been really rough in terms of keeping them intact. Chase McCain is hidden. If you find him, feel free to post up. Uh, let's see here. We'll crack that open. Here we go, the back side. This one not exciting at all because we're looking at the back end of sticker sheets. But, uh, it'll get better as we slide it on out here. Check out that claw from Terrafin. That's kind of a cool shot right there at the party line. So we'll set that uh, right there. You'll probably hear it slide off in a minute and fall. This is a really strong smell associated with it. Uh, it's almost like paint for some reason. I don't know what's up with that, but it is taped. That's what I was going to try to tell you. Uh, let's go ahead crack that back and uh, I'm going to slide out the cards and the sticker sheets hopefully without bending I don't know what's in this thing man I mean it really smells like this is wet paint um, I know it's not I mean I guess it, in theory it could possibly be but um, that's what it smells like it's really strong um, <laughs> It's kind of weird, actually. Maybe it's a little fiery forge, I guess. Uh, slide that up. 
Anyway, uh, got those out. I don't think we've been anything too bad. Let's go ahead and see if we can get uh, Bumble dressed. Yeah. Okay, I see what they did. Uh, he is actually strapped in this bad boy for some reason. Uh, if you note, there's that little tab back there. He's got one of those like clear little rubber bands around his waist. So there he goes. He'll be wearing that until I get a chance to take it off. Take a detailed look here in a second. Um, the fiery forge does not have that provision, so let's bust it out. I was trying not to tear the paper. So that might have looked awkward. And knockout terrapin. He is strapped down as well. These guys must have been really, really ticked at each other or something. You can see that rubber band there. That is a first uh, for unboxing Skylanders, at least as far as I've ever encountered. Uh, there were some triple packs and giants I didn't get, but uh, I don't know. That's probably going to fall too. Uh, let's get that rubber band off. I don't know, maybe that's the smell? I mean, I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, it does have an odor, I and mean, it's, I don't know, it's kind of faded now. We'll look at him in detail here in a second. Let me get Bumble Blast's rubber band off again, just so you know I'm not making that up. Uh, like I said, though, these guys must have something going on. I don't know if they're, uh, he feels wet. I don't know what to do. Anyway, uh, it's kind of weird unboxing. My hands are, like, greasy now. Uh, I don't know. If anyone else has had that happen, let me know. But uh, what I was going to say is maybe these two guys, maybe Bumble Blast says Popthorn's the cutest Skylander and maybe Knockout Terrafin says No Man It's Wrecking Ball. So like I said, I'm going to get that up on the blog. We're going to have a throwdown. Uh, let's go ahead here and uh, take a look at the Fiery Forge. We'll start with the boring part, which is just the card. Uh, of course, it's actually pretty nice artwork there. You can kind of get a feel for what it does. And then behind that, we've got the sticker sheet, the name, QR code, and a web code, which I can't show you because people do take them. Uh, the piece itself, Fiery Forge. Look at that cauldron. I mean, that is, again, they've over, you know, don't have to go to that length in this type of stuff. But you can see the handle here. It's actually, you know, the way this stuff works. It's kind of like a medieval castle type thing, hot tar traps, if you will. Essentially, you know, you'd have it upright, and then you basically spin it over. Uh, you know, it swivels. You can basically do 360s with it. But uh, here it is from going, you know, parallel to the ground to going down, you know, basically pivoting 45 degrees or so. Uh, check it out, though. I mean, that is really, really nicely done. Kind of like what we saw with Gildron's uh, Series 2 Giants repos. Even the wood, they integrated the spikes, making it look a bit more menacing. Uh, it's even got like the ironclad weather to look going on. That's pretty sweet. And like I was saying on the cauldron, you can actually see the handle. They did it on the top and the bottom. And then they actually have these spikes, which is really cool, uh, on the cauldron. Again, that was above and beyond. Base is blue. That indicates swap force again, uh, which is really sweet on the fire I just saw. It's kind of got like your generic yellow. It's almost like a McDonald's honey mustard or something. And then, of course, you've got, like, the lava, the hot look down here, the fire. But look at that parting line. You can see the yellow up top, and then the lava on the back side. You can kind of see where the paint fades as well, but uh, very nice touch there. Uh, presumably, if you hate yellow or you get really bored, you could probably come in with some, like, uh, you know, fine paper wet sand that maybe get that off and make the whole thing look uh, kind of this orangey-red glow. Overall, though... Way, way, way intricate detail uh, for something that's basically just going to be, you know, a magic item in a lock of battle arena, but I am not going to complain about it. Speaking of that, let's take a look at what it does. The Fiery Forge adds a new battle and ring out arena of the same name. When placed on the Portal of Power, a cauldron floats over your Skylander's head. When enemies are near, the cauldron tips over and covers the ground with molten metal. Uh, that's straight from the strategy guide, molten metal. That's interesting. Producing an effect similar to Eruptor's attack, the eruption. So uh, again, that would be uh, Eruptor. He's got, you know, the flame lava, and he's got the one where he erupts and just, you know, kind of puts lava on the ground. So that'll be interesting. So essentially, 
Picture Bumble Blast going through a level here. You're having trouble. There's a bunch of enemies ahead. You've got a cauldron floating above your head. The enemies approach you and... Pretty sweet. It's like eruptors watching over you from above. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That thing kind of feels like greasy or something. Uh, I don't know if it's like the paint or if it's like a polish or something in the parting of the molds. But like, my fingers have this like slick stuff on them. Uh, never had that happen before, and again, I've never had the rubber bands either. But uh, we're going to come in now, we'll actually take a look at the characters. We'll do Knockout Terrafin first, uh, not because he's one of my personal favorites, but just because, you know, I'll save Bumble Blast there for the end. So, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at his stickers. Uh, I say that because there it is. Behind him there, you get the sticker, you got the web code, QR code, name underneath that. Uh, the stat card, though, for Knockout Tariff, and let's check this guy out. Power, 100 of 200. Armor, 100 of 200. Agility, 50 of 200. And Luck, 70 of 200. That's going to put him at 250, 320. So, pretty respectable numbers right off the bat. Uh, Tariff doesn't seem to be upset about it. We will set that down, and uh, we're now going to take a look at Tariff and go into his backstory. All right, so knockout Terrafin here. Use background story I've got in, etched in my mind. Uh, Terrafin hails from the dirt seas where it was common to swim, bathe, and even snorkel beneath the ground. But a powerful explosion in the sky created a blast that turned the ocean of sand into a vast sheet of glass, putting an end to Terrafin's duty as a local lifeguard. Not one to stay idle, the brawny dirt shock found himself training in the art of boxing, hence knockout Terrafin. Uh... <laughs> And not long after that, he was a local champ. Fighters came from all around to challenge him, but it was a chance meeting with a great portal master, we're assuming Eon, uh, which gave led him to give that up for a greater purpose. Again, this is why, you know, a lot of the stuff my nephew and I do, I'm a big, I actually like Slam Bam really well too, but I'll be terrified and he'll be Slam Bam to kind of duke it out in the arena. Uh, his repos, pretty nice. Um... Actually, I meant to grab Series 1 and Series 2. I guess it's not that big of a deal. I might have pictures up for you on the blog. But uh, the main thing, he's got these giant boxing gloves with claws on them, if you will. Uh, the really th cool thing I like is they almost look like lightning bolts. It's kind of like multi-purpose, uh, inflicting some major pain there and looking good. Uh, facial expression. Very menacing, typical dirt shark status. Uh, he's kind of got the uh, brawny spread out look going on. On the back, you can see his fin there. I uh, wondered if they would have had a razor fin or something on his backside. He was at E3, but it was like the cases, it was really hard to see him. You could just kind of like barely make out what was going on there. His wow pal, uh, it's of course going to involve the brand new feature on his hands there. Uh, it is called, I believe, Have You Met My Kids? Essentially, while he's burrowed, you know, so picture the... He basically pops out, he gets a slash in, uh, the kids come out and they actually attack enemies as well, and then they say if you, you know, practice and master it, you can actually get that slash in and then actually do a belly flop. The belly flop, as you know, does a crud ton of damage, and uh, assuming that wow pow deals wow powers numbers could be really 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 good uh, in terms of everything battle mode story mode whatever you want to do uh, that said that is knockout Terrafin. again I think he looks pretty good uh, personally if I had to pick one I would probably say his series 2 pose uh, I'm just kind of partial to that one this one though I do like it's pretty unique and it incorporates the new wow pal which is something you could only do right now in swap force but before we go, check out that detail on the inside of this, like, glove. It's kind of got, you know, three fingers with the blades on them. And then, of course, it's got, you know, the thumb turned in. Sharp nails on both. Let's see if we've got it on that hand. We do. Uh, so there's a, probably a better shot than the other hand for you. But uh, very impressive detail there for Knockout Tariff. And again, if for some reason you're against the battle packs, there is the single pack of Knockout Tariff. And, uh, now... We're going to take a look at Bumble Blast. I have to say, sounds like he's going to be a really good character. Uh, he's another one, kind of like Nitro Magna Charge. we kind of seen him because we knew of the Battle Pack for quite some time, actually. 
And a lot of people just said, man, you know, I do not like that pose, or the gun looks cool, but the character doesn't, etc. Uh, the gun does look flipping sweet, literally. Uh, that's going to be making a lot of sense when I read his story to you. But uh, it's, I think this is actually called the Bezuka. You probably heard me say repeatedly, he actually does look, at least to me, a lot like Zook. Uh, Zook, again, I feel still to this day, I'll say it, I think he's extremely underrated and underappreciated. Very powerful character, lots of fun. Uh, does everything well. You can kind of custom tailor his gameplay moves to whatever you want to accomplish. Uh, I kind of expected something similar there, maybe the defensive type. Doesn't look like they did that. Looks like they kind of did something different, which I think is a good call. You don't want them to be you know, making a wall of beehives, and then it's almost exactly like Zook's cactus and floral defender, you know. Uh, that said, check it out. He's got the honeycomb vibe going on. Really, It's almost like a uh, golf ball, you know, like a miniature golf or something. Uh, it's intended to be a honeycomb. Uh, he's got that. That is not. A lot of people, I think, thought this was a tongue. Uh, I guess it could be, but I'm kind of inclined to think it might be honey. Uh, just kind of dangling out of there. I'm, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I truly believe it is honey. You can kind of see it sloshing around. Again, this is something new we kind of saw with the Fiery Forge. There I, there it is. I kind of lost it. Um, just a lot of extra detail there. I mean, that could have just been empty and you have to use your imagination, but that's actually something in there. So, uh, that said, he does, he, for me, this guy is almost like a direct cross. If I took Zook and then I took Stump Smash and just crammed them together, I could see Bumble Blast coming out of it. He will have a Light Core version coming up. That'll be interesting. Uh, we have the option, you know, it could be like the Pot of Honey here. It could be the Beehive Gun. Uh, it could be the Eyes. If it was the Honey and the Gun, that would be killer. Um don't know what it'll be but you know that'll be nice check it out there and kind of like the stump side portion let me try to get that to focus there's your life element leaf uh, don't have that on the other side but it's almost like a tree ring or something uh, same thing on the gun there he's got the knots it's a lot of elements of tree wrecks in this one as well uh, those are kind of the three skylanders you, know, you can kind of see traces of in this guy Let's take a look at his story, though. I think you're going to find this interesting. His slogan is The Perfect Swarm. Um, Bumble Blast started life as a humble beehive in the Radiant Mountains. That's right. You read directly a beehive, so very interesting there. Where for ages the bees made the sweetest, most magical honey in all of Skylands. When Chaos heard about this super honey, he wanted it all for himself and soon launched an attack on the peaceful bees. Uh, again, this kind of goes along with what we saw in SSA where he was attacking the trees because they were mocking him. Uh, pretty interesting character, that Chaos guy. Uh, let's see here. But when his minions arrived to plunder everything the bees had created, they were met by Bumble Blast. He alone had been home to the bees and considered himself their protector. Using the power of the magic honey, Bumble Blast valiantly battled the evil minions who felt his powerful sting that day. Afterward, Bumble Blast roamed Skylands as a protector of nature, where he soon joined with the Skylanders. Pretty cool backstory. Again, the blue base there indicates Swap Force. Uh, basically, he begins with Bezooka. Uh, you shoot homing honey. They say honey homing bees. I'd call it homing honey bees. Uh, so you're basically going to have, you know, the Bezooka. You're going to be shooting bees out of that. Then the secondary attack is called Honey Glob. Uh, shoot a big ball of honey that will coat enemies in honey when hit. It's almost like Stump Smash's acorns, you know, and then they get the plumage going on. It slows them down. So I really am inclined to believe that that's honey, you know, so I'm going to stick to my guns there. Uh, he is a beehive after all. Um, looks like he's got beekeeper path. going to upgrade your primary. And then honey tree path going to upgrade the secondary. Kind of be, again, primary, probably going to be more you know, damage dealt, aggressive type play. And then Honey Tree, probably going to be something that kind of scales it back, more defensive-minded type thing. So nothing new there, but uh, I think he's going to be an interesting character again. Personally, I think he looks much better in person, out of the packaging. I mean, you can pick up on that detail. The guy's literally got honey. It's not just like, hey, 
yeah, that yellow thing, it's a beehive. It's got honey in it. It's it's literally there. Uh, so big props on the design team for that one. Elements, again, of Tree Rex, Stump Smash, and Zook all tied into one. Uh, then again, the Bezooka is going to be, looks like he can actually shoot bees later on. He's going to be doing a lot with the honey. Uh, that's an interesting aspect they hadn't taken. Again, check out the Life Element logo there. Um, have to say, I'm excited to play as this guy. I don't think we looked at his stat card, so we'll do that again. He's got the sticker sheet here. That's basically what the sticker looks like. Somewhere back there is the web code. Power. 85 of 200 defense or armor what is that 85 of 200 i'm trying to look through the camera like you are uh, agility 50 of 200 and luck as you can see him indicating there with the bezooka which also works well as a pointer 90 of 200 so 85 and 85 is 170 170 and 50 is 220 and 220 and 90 puts him at 310 so i think i said terrafin was 320 isn't that what I was at? Uh, let's take a look with Bumble Blast Bezooka Pointer. 100 and 100 is 200, 250, 320. Yeah, so stat card battle-wise, my main man Terrafin takes him down by 10. Uh, that said, you saw the battle pack. These guys were both held back with rubber bands. They must be ready to go at it. Again, it is the first battle pack in Skylander Swap Force. Uh, should be an interesting matchup. I feel like uh, the Honey Glob might potentially have the chance to offset maybe you know his uh you know sandhog type maneuvers but uh close quarters we'll have to see i'll have to see how bumble blast plays uh, of course tariff and of course close quarters is a dominant force to be reckoned with but these are our two characters in the fiery forge battle pack uh, should be a lot of fun, of course, Terry, if we get to check out his new Wild Pal. Uh, if you just started with Giants and you have Series 2 repos, Terry, and you can take this one down the other path, experience them both. Uh, Bumble Blast looks like he's going to be cool again. He will have a Light Core version coming. Terry, the single pack's already out. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, that's good news again for the people that don't like battle packs. Bumble Blast, don't know if he'll be out in a single or triple yet. But we do know he does have a light core version. So uh, that said, they come with the fiery forge. Picture either one of these guys going through a level as enemies get near to him and they're attacking. That cauldron tips over, spills lava just like we see with Eruptor. I have to say that thing is immaculately detailed. I've been really impressed with both the cauldron and the Tower of Time's actual tower. So. Um, that said, again, ultimately, I bought this from Toys R Us. I think they're $25.99 there. Sometimes they don't add the extra dollar. It kind of throws me off. But uh, main thing, right now, launch day through this coming Saturday, uh, which will be, what, the 19th. You can actually cash in, get buy one, get one 40% off. Again, my advice, pick up the you know battle pack and the adventure pack and then you're going to save the most money but uh i'm excited about this again maybe this weekend when my nephew's over here we can kind of have a throwdown. uh maybe he'll let me be tariffing i don't know but they'd probably be going at it you know box stock so that would kind of be interesting then we can chronicle how this one goes down throughout their uh you know storied upgrading pass but uh excited about this one again the tower or i'm sorry fiery forge battle pack I don't think you're going to have trouble finding it again, maybe until like Black Friday has passed. Uh, my target, for whatever reason, they seem to be selling them pretty well. Toys R Us has had quite a few GameStop got them again. Uh, if for some reason you're trying to get it this weekend, you don't see it, 10 to 1, the next door you go in is going to have it, so no rush there. Uh, like I said, though, if you do pick it up, Toys R Us right now is your best bet. It'll save you the most money. That's about all she wrote. Again, that uh, Fiery Forge serves not only to unlock a battle arena, but it's also useful in gameplay, uh, so we can keep that in mind. But uh, again, I'm excited about it. Knockout Terrafin, again, one of my personal favorite characters. I think Bumble Blast has a lot of potential here. I'm excited. Biggest thing I like about this, um, we'll get Lycor Bumble Blast eventually, so we can use that to take whichever path you don't initially take. So that's always a cool deal. That said, Terrafin, we know him inside and out. We just want to see that new WoW pal. We'll do that. Uh, if possible, I'll try to chronicle these guys head-to-head -head at various points throughout their upgrade process. We'll see how that goes out. Uh, again, Chase McCain is hidden. 
Make sure you subscribe. That'll keep you up with all the latest. The blog is actually your best source of information. You can take that link at the top of the video description. Uh, if you got questions or comments, post up on the blog. I generally get to them, you know, within 24-hour time span or so. Uh, you're welcome to leave them here on YouTube. I'll get to them as I can. Uh, currently still kind of backlogged. I'm trying to catch up, so bear with me there. You can follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy the perfect swarm of Knockout Terrafin, Bumble Blast, and the Fiery Forge Battle Pack.